Hello and welcome back to my Arsenal career mode here on Football Manager. Um, in the last episode, we ended the January transfer window. We tried to sign a late signing in, in Sidibe from Monaco for eight million and Manuela, but that got rejected just on the edge of transfer deadline day. And we signed a new player from the youth academy um, called Simon Prosser, a goalkeeper. So uh, we probably would have put him out on loan next season because I don't know how many seasons of this I'm doing, actually. Uh, I might either do two or three, but anyways, we'll see in the future. Our next game is against Hull City, so that should be a relatively easy game. So uh, simulate a few days now and we'll get into the Hull City game. This is the team we're putting out for the Hull City game. Um, I'm starting Petr Cech in this one. And I brought on Bellerin and Mustafi. And Giroud is going to start in this game as well. So we'll play this match and see what sort of result we get. Hopefully a win and three points to stay in third place. And that would mean automatic qualifi qualification for the Champions League in next season. We have a free kick though, Giroud to take it and it's gone wide. So that's not a good start. But we're dominating possession and we still have the ball. And Cazorla scored 1 0. He scored our first goal at the 19th minute. No, he hasn't. Well, he has, but it's been disallowed. Offside. Mustafi must have got a yellow card there. And Dia from Hull City, however you pronounce it, got a yellow card as well. Not much gameplay action in this first half. Here is a bit. Free kick. I mean, not a free kick. A corner. Bellerin to take it. And uh, the goalkeeper was not on his line. And Giroud, from what I saw there, wrapped him. And uh, got us the first goal of the game. And now we're 1-0 up at the 42nd minute. And it is half time. Obviously, I said that a bit late. But, yeah. Going into the second half now. And we scored another goal. Lucas. He scored at the 48 minute. Six minutes between the goals. And the Marshall saves that one. Should be a comfortable win here. Let's make a few substitutes. Take off a few players that are getting tired. Um, who here is getting tired? Um, I might put on Ramsey for this one. He hasn't been played for a while. And I'll also put on Erzl, just to get, give them a run about. They haven't played in the last two or three games, I think. The last few games were a bit easy as well, so we'll give them a run around. And anyways, we beat Hull City 2-0. Um, there wasn't much sort of gameplay in this um, match, but uh, we still win 2-0 and we we'll get the three points. These two emails, Saturday the 4th of April, in-game, on Football Manager, is my best day ever. Arsenal's Alexis Sanchez has won the English Premier League Player of the Month award for January. And not just that, he comes back and tells the press um, that I'm, that uh, me, Dylan Jackson, was the catalyst for his great form over the last month. I am proud. He's definitely starting in the next game. And it is quite of a big game, but you're going to have to wait and see in a few moments. This is the team I'm putting out in this game. Um, you could say it's a big game, but this team is big and they haven't been playing well in this save game. But I'm going to treat this as a big game. So I'm putting out my strongest team possible. Donnarumma is in goal. Gibbs, Kashani, Mustafi and Bellerin are my uh, defence. Um, Xhaka, Ramsey and Erzl in mid. And Sanchez, Lacazette and Chamberlain in the forward line. Walcott only has three buyers of energy, so I have Chamberlain starting. But he's a good player, so he'll um, do a good job for us. And let's get into this match, and you'll see who we're playing. It is Man City. They do have a good team, but they're not having a good season in this um, save game. They're still 12th. They've been 12th for a while. And uh, let's see how good Sanchez is going to play in this game after the good um, comment he gave the press about me. Sanchez was on the ball there, he crossed it into Lacazette, Lacazette passes to Chamberlain, keeper saves up. 
Uh, someone got a yellow card that we get a free Sanchez to take it. He shoots, but it's gone wide. Erzul. Lacazette, first time shot, but Bravo saves it. It's a corner, Erzul to take it. Bravo saves it. Sanchez to take the free, and he tucks that one away easily. I don't know now if it was Sanchez, it was Sanchez from the free kick. Nobody headed it in. Sanchez scored the goal at the 45th minute, and we're 1 0 up now at half time. Into the second half now. To yellow for Stones. We have a free kick again. The amount of free kicks we had in this game. Oh my god. What a goal. Was that Sane who scored? That was a long way outside the box and Sane levels it up at the 59th minute. Wow. We have a free kick. Lacazette to take it and he tucks that one away easily. We're going to check the um, team for any form or uh, low energy. Company got a red card there at the 61st minute. Um, Sanchez has been playing outstanding, so has Lacazette. Uh, I think I'll put on Walcott for a little bit of a run around. We'll take off Chamberlain. And I might just leave it at that, actually. Check the uh, Koscielny and Gibbs are having a good game. Uh, yeah, we we'll leave it at that. The team are okay. Loads of players having a good game today and they have loads of energy in them. But Lacazette scored for us at the 62nd minute. He scored from the free kick. Vincent Company must have uh, fouled him and got a red card because it was dangerous. But uh, Bravo saved our corner. And there we go. We get two wins in a row. Two wins from two. We do beat Man City 2-1 and we get another three points. That's six points in total so far. Walcott has returned to full training following his chest injury. Um, I don't know what his energy is going to be like for the next game, but we will see in the next game that he he might be certain, but he, then he might not, depending on his energy or fitness level. The window is closed, but... We get a transfer speculation for the upcoming transfer window, which will be next season, that Monrella, a player who we are trying to sell, has been linked with Bournemouth um, for a 4.4 million move. And I would accept that, actually. Um, five million teams think it's too much. But, um, yeah, I would uh, probably accept that or we listen to other offers for the player. That's what we'll, call, that's what we'll say to the press. Um... Yeah, so I've confirmed that Manuela might be leaving the club soon. And we'll get a bit of money in to replace him. And then put Gibbs on the bench for backup. But uh, we'll see what other offers we get from. That's the first of one that I could be accepting. This is the team we're putting out for Burnley. I'm going to simulate this match because we have a big match coming up next. Which is why I rotate the squad a bit. Um, the ch only changes I made was Holding, Gabriel and Jenkinson in defence, and Nelly, Coughlin and Cazorla in mid, and I will be and Giroud in forward. So uh, let's hope we can get another good result in this game. Well, we have lost our first game of this episode. So um, Jamie Thomas scored at the 49th minute, so we were losing um, uh, just after the first half, early on in the second half. Um, Sanchez popped up at the 84th minute to equalise that. This is when I made about a few, two I think, or three changes. Took off a few players that weren't playing good and they were getting tired from some big players like Lacazette, Sanchez and Ozil. And then Daniel Aguia scored at the 88th minute. And when I was making those substitutes, there was a lot of players on the red, so they were not having a good game. So, uh... I may have made a bad decision putting out that lineup, but uh, hopefully that doesn't affect us on the league table. We have Everton up next. Um, there's some big matches in a row um, coming up next. I'm going to leave them for the next episode, so I'm going to put out a slightly weaker team. 
hoping that we can beat Everton who are in last place on the league table so this should be a winnable game so I put out a mixture of my start 11 and a few backups um, check starts and goal my defence line is as strong as I can well it's not as strong as I can get it but it's the strongest except Jenkinson comes in for Bellerin because I want to save Bellerin for the next few matches coming up because they are quite big and Bellerin is one of my best defenders um, Cazorla stays in the forward line and Xhaka and Ramsey come in for this match as well and the forward line is the same as the last game so let's get straight into this match so a bit of a 50-50 because the next matches are coming up um, are quite big and they're in a short space of time well one of them uh, have a good gap between it but then it gets short so uh Saving a few players' energies and fitness in this game. Uh, Schneidling gets a red card at the 22nd minute. Cazorla has it. Can he scores? Can he scores? Can he score? No, we can't, and that's half time. Don't tell me we're going to concede here. Oh, Delafeu. Good pressure in there by Koscielny, though. Yellow card, we have a free kick. Giroud taken out, we should make a few substitutes actually. We score this one, we make a few substitutes late on in the second half. So most of my first team players will have about nearly a full bar of energy. Um, I'm going to put Bellerin on in this game just to make sure he doesn't lose his form. Um, who else will I put on? I think Iwobi's having a good game, is he? Um, Jacques is not having a good game, a rating of four. Wow. Um, Kazor is having a good game, I'll leave him on. So, let's put on Walcott. And, uh, we'll leave it at that. We will leave it at that. We're winning 1 0 because of Kazorla, he scored at the 78 minute. There are free blows for her full time and we beat Everton 1-0. That is not bad. We get the three points. We can quickly check the table as well. Um, we are third with 50 points. There's only three points between me and Tottenham. That's third and fourth. And we close the gap in on Chelsea. There's only six points between me and them. 11 points between me and Manu. So we have closed the gap in quite a bit. Uh, let's see, Man City moved down to 13th when I bet them, but they moved back up to 12th. Um, what else is happening? Everton is still last. Yeah, they're not having a good season. 16 losses, they need to improve. Actually, it's good to see how much losses we got. 15 wins, 5 draws and 7 losses. 7 losses is still quite a bit. But we scored 59 goals, we conceded 36, and we have a goal difference of 23. That's not bad, I'm pleased with that. Um, but that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, the next episode is going to be quite big, which is why I want to shorten this one down. But uh, if you like to, please give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe to never miss a video. And I'll see you in my next one very soon.